Hi, good day everyone and thank you for attending this week's Make It Snappy session. You are here with Yashin from Modern and OneSolve and the feature I'll be showing you how to work with today will be the sketch rotate command. So all you need to do is have an active sketch and you can access the rotate tool from your ribbon. Once I activate that, it's going to ask me to define or select the geometry I'd like to reposition or rotate. So all I have to do is simply head over to the geometry that I've drawn out, which is this extended piece from the hexagon, highlight or select it. Once that choice has been made, the next thing to define would be the center point. The center point will essentially create an axis that I will revolve about. And I can simply use that selection tool and choose the center of the hexagon. A little message will appear. Um, this is of course going to happen if I've got the con uh, initial geometry constraint. So I'm going to break those constraints because I am of course changing the position of this geometry. And in order to do that, I can just drag my cursor till I get the relative angle. Okay, or alternatively, you can punch those values in. So for example, if I want to have this rotated about 120 degrees, I can input those values, select apply, and there we go, our feature has been repositioned. Okay, over and above that, you can rotate and make another copy of this instance. So if I wanted this to be on the other side of the hexagon, all I have to do is simply follow the same procedure. Select the geometry I'd like to move, select a center point I'd like to revolve about, and what I'm going to do is in the dialog box toggle on this copy option to make a duplicate of that feature. And what I can then do is define the angle. Okay, I could either type it out or use my snap functions to reposition, reposition this anywhere on one of the hexagon edges. Okay, once I'm satisfied with my input, I can select apply and choose done. Okay, so that pretty much summarizes how to use the rotate tool inside of Inventor. Hope you enjoyed that session and stay tuned to our YouTube channel for more content.